All right. Hello, everyone. Um, we are with a friend, and we are going to do another um, uh, video about where to grind out and farm some gear. Uh, say hello, new friend. Hey, what's up? All right. Uh, they are another streamer. Uh, could you go ahead and you know promote yourself a little bit? Yeah, what's up? I'm Lit Licker, uh, or Serac Ifgri. I will I will put his link in the chat below. Um, and awesome. So what you want to do is you're going to want to go to this quest. This is the mission that we're going on. And then uh, he is going to show us how to kind of do this farm. So we're going to farm for a little bit here, maybe 15, 20 minutes, just to get you guys a feel of it. And, and then I'll do a summary at the end, just like last time. All right, cool. Let's go. All right, so the difference in this one and your uh, and the vault farm this is one of the story quests, so you don't, you're on a timer here. Um, so you want to activate this stuff as quick as possible. So you're going to turn on, you're going to activate everything like normal. Um, but the thing about this is these west barriers and the east barrier here that we just turned on, they actually one shot any mob that comes in contact with them. So what you'll do is if you're not, if you can't kill them all, um, and, and, and really if you want to not just want to do this, is the most efficient way is to try to drag all the big mobs into the tower so that they go into that uh, the, the barrier walls because it actually one shots all of the elites and anything else so to get aggro best way to get aggro is hit them with a control effect and uh, they typically will follow you um, sometimes they don't and you can see these are already heading up um, and it's if you can get them to come through they're going to actually one get one shot by this tower And you'll just have a pile of loot sitting here. All right, I'm trying to get them to aggro. I'm trying to get this on stream here. You just keep attacking the little turrets. If you want to come over to the east wall. Oh yeah. Okay. Come on. So they'll just walk through this barrier over and over and die, and you just get <laughs> free loot. The elites do the same thing; they all die instantly. So, and, and this is a this is a speed farm. So th they respawn once they're killed. So you, again, you're on a 10 minute timer in here. So the quicker you can get them to follow you to the tower and die in the wall, the quicker you can get more to spawn. So do you think that maybe like not summoning these creatures that I'm summoning is a good idea? Let me despawn them, or like at least blink yeah, anything that's gonna pull aggro off of you and they're not gonna follow you. Yes. And the best way to get anything to follow you in this game is to hit them with some type of hazard or a control effect. For some reason, that gets their aggro, um, and they'll follow you wherever you go. And so you also, what you can do is you can dot the whole map, and they'll follow you. And this this is a master farm that you can solo quite easily. Um, it is still more efficient to do it with three people because you get bigger mobs, bigger spawns. Um, but again, it's just a matter of getting their attention, um, and they'll follow you down to the the walls. Ah, uh, so they're so the the. I was wondering that if it scaled, like, and how much it scaled uh, when when you have more people. That's correct. So the more people you get, a higher spawns, you get higher spawn rates, you get bigger monsters, and the monsters when they're bigger, of course, they're going to drop more. And if you see them congregating around the tower, just hit them with some type of control effect. So our deck is basically all wrong for this, but at this point I'm just letting my minions die. And depending on your build, like my build, just so my build is purely dot based. So I'm going to kill a lot of these mobs just from, just from hitting them with with a control effect. So you're gonna have loot kind of spread out on the map. So, so you can see I've got the I've got the big elite. Um, I got his attention, and I got a whole bunch of smaller elites, and we're just gonna walk them right up to the gate. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so this is the premise right here. You just bring in these guys. So yeah, you see, I've pulled the whole map with a control effect, and they're just gonna follow me right into this wall, and they're just gonna all 
insta die. Wow. Oh, there's a couple of guys here that spawned on the other side. Now those, I, it's best just to kill them. collect your loot nice very nice very nice so if they do in fact fix the uh the vault spawn which there are is a lot of talk about them doing this is going to be one of the better places to do it yeah this is a really nice one too because it like like you don't have to be all that strong like you could be a little under leveled for this as long as you got like some movement and stuff like that like maybe you just play uh, a geo or something like that just be tanky enough to run it in Yep, that's pretty much the whole pr uh, the way to farm this area. And then at the end, anything that's still alive that and again the whole the whole thing here is you want to keep killing as much as you can to keep the spawn fresh. Uh, so you've got mobs spawning all the time, but anything you don't get drawn into the walls as soon as you discharge the battery it's gonna kill them all instantly anyway I need to break this battery back up so I gotta run out to the wall yeah back to where you originally turned them on at guys in here yeah the stuff up here uh you can you can drag them back down the opposite way uh mm. it's just a little harder they don't they don't follow quite as well right because they're trying to blow up that battery yeah and and just to also some perspective um tassel and i are a little higher geared than most people so some of this stuff is dying before it should so normally you'd have a lot bigger loot pile um, at each gate yeah I mean I played a lot but even like I'm you know I'm not level 124 all right so you guys see I'm kind of dragging these guys around uh oh, uh oh. Alright, here we go, here we go. Drag him right in here. Ooh. Legendary artifact. Nice. I make sure Which one did you get? Uh, Hollowed Sanctuary. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I'm currently using the Whip of Erebos. I think that one's real strong. Well, for this build, um, I went with the Combustion one. Yep. Because my entire deck is spells, so it just dots them. Mm. Yeah, I'm playing the Green Warden Sapperling deck right now. Yeah, that's uh, potentially going to be nerfed tomorrow. Yeah. But, like, luckily, like, the deck that I'm playing is getting nerfed. But, like, that sucks, but they're upping the chance for other things to spawn for new spells. Yep. So that'll be really good. I'll be able to start really tinkering with some decks 
and stuff like that. I, I really, like, I play a lot of Magic, so, like, that's kind of the thing that I was really looking forward to in this game is, like, starting to tinker with decks. But you can't really do that just yet um, until you really get a lot of spells. Well, it depends. I think from what I'm really experimenting with, it's really about your artifacts and equipment. Um, so this deck that I'm running right now is all uncommon and common spells. There's not a single rare mythic in it. But it's based off of an artifact that comes from the Demir Battle Pass, or uh, the Demir Pack. So, you know, it's 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 one of those things. This is there's no Green Warden bug, there's no Goblin Rush bug to it. Um, but it's competing with any other master build, even the bugged ones. So, you know, it's really yes, some of the uncommons seem to be more rare than some of the rare ones. Um, but when you get to that point, yes. There's definitely a potential to make some pretty good decks, um, really without farming too much, just being how the synergies get together. Sure Alright, so we, I just checked the map, we've got a lot that still spawn. Um, as soon as we discharge the battery, everything's dead. So, just do you a quick loot run, and that's it. So yeah. every, you know, restart the zone and do it another 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I didn't know that the Green, or I knew that the Green Warden was bugged, but I didn't know, like, when I built the deck, so I've just been like, playing it like yeah mm -hmm. well there's a very small percentage of people that actually knew about it till it got publicized that it was a bug so yeah. uh, a lot I of mean, people were playing it because it's a giant creature yeah i mean a lot like you can kind of tell like as you're playing through it you're like oh yeah this guy does a ton of damage does the thing like you know you can feel it but i didn't realize like it was a bug until like people started talking about it yep um also one thing that was uh tassel brought up if you're a white healer you can actually, when you heal, it does heal the soul battery and the gateways and the generators. So that's another thing if you're running a white with a little bit of control in it. That's that's probably, the, a white blue control is probably the best to speed farm this. Um, because you can throw all your blue controls while you're healing all your uh, the generators and the gates. Very cool. Alright. Yes. Oh, are, you guys, are you guys ready to, for me to end the quest? Yeah, go ahead. I think I've done my loot. Alright. He's going uh, cool. to be so pleased. Master well, there you are. All right, very cool. Thank you so much. Um, definitely, definitely, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a wrap-up now. But... Well, that was loud. Check it out. Um, thanks so much. You're very welcome. Later, Good bud. luck. All right, that was pretty fun. Um, I think that sort of the... This is a really good farming technique for sure. A lot of good equipment there. Um, it's easy to do so you can be a little under leveled and do it because you just run them through the walls You just need to make sure that you make a deck with Control stuff so that you can bring the aggro because if you didn't watch before basically the summary is Controlling things like hazards and stuff like that will really bring up a lot of the aggro to you And you want to drag the people the mobs through those gates that will kill them instantly So you don't have to do a lot of work and the faster you do it the better all right, just wanted to add a couple things here that this is a really good farm for equipment. So we're talking uh, equipment, artifacts, um, spell pages, all really good for that. It's not as good um, as the vault, uh, but it is still pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of extra in this one too, since you're repeating a quest that's pretty quick, you will get a little bit more ether and planar mana from this. So if you're trying to do both things, this might be a little bit better. Also, uh, fortunately, um, this one seems like it may not get nerfed, uh, but the vault does seem like it will get nerfed. So we'll keep this, we'll keep them both up. Hopefully, we'll just see what happens if if the vault gets nerfed. I'll, I'll add it over there. Um, but just wanted to make sure I covered all my bases with a little bit extra explanation here at the end. Cool. Have a great night. Bye.